All right, well, this is part two of uh, the last shots of my 180. Couldn't figure out exactly how to make this all one video. Didn't want to walk you all the way through the house. But uh, this here is my 420 gallon tank that I personally built. This tank has taken me a bit over 10 weeks of labor to build. It's all one inch thick acrylic. It's all held together with uh, stainless steel screws, rubber, wood bottom. I'm not going to get into too great a detail, but the way this tank's built, it was very labor intensive. And uh, it'd probably take a stick of dynamite to get anything to ever let loose in it. Here's a good view from up top you're looking through where my uh, all my return system is going to come back through Jeez. tank itself is 50 inches wide 70 or 80 inches long and 26 inches deep this is looking through it lengthwise this will be the new home for all of my reef inhabitants that some of you have been watching over the last year or so that I've been recording progress here. This tank is completely purpose built for SPS. As you can see, unlike most acrylic tanks, the top is completely open on here, so I don't have to worry about stupid little portals. I guess that's what you get when you build a tank yourself. Um, those down there are closed loop design. The bigger one there is the suction, those are the outlet. Those will all flow through the rocks like my my, sim, my uh, 180 hit does right now. Those will all go up and have little pipes that go up into the rocks so that you can uh, so flush the rocks out from inside. That's most of the reason I believe, other than good husbandry, that my 180 still is phosphate free. And my nitrates are as low as one. This is all my plumbing in the back so far. Labor Day weekends when we're planning on putting this bad boy in the house. Next weekend, uh, which is two weeks from now, next weekend we'll be doing the teardown on the 180, moving everything into a 300 gallon Rubbermaid tub, move all my equipment and everything. It's going to be a fun deal. As most of you know, it's not one of the greatest things to have to do but the benefits will be awesome that's my closed loop pump there that's a 4200 gallon an hour sequence pump but yeah just figured I'd show you guys the uh, the new reef aquarium. I'll have to see if I can get something put together on maybe on how exactly I built this thing. It's a bit to explain. And it was a ton of work, but it's definitely worth it. It's a one of a kind. One more look from up top. Can't wait to see a wave rolling across this thing pretty soon. But, well anyways, that's the end of part two, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video.